David Selinger of Devon, Canada, has been in the oil and gas industry for 28 years. He's been a cowboy even longer. He sees a lot of similarity in the challenge of working at a state-of-the-art central processing facility for natural gas and the challenge of riding a horse for hours on end in the Rocky Mountains. I caught up with him as he was about to saddle up for a trip into Lost Guide Lake. My lighter doesn't work. Better bring a match. There we go. David and his wife Nancy are getting ready for a five-hour horseback trip. Their horses are being prepared for a four or five day trek in the backcountry. Around here, horses are number one. There's a lot that can go wrong up here. Uh, they can get soared up. So you really got to make sure that on your way in and out, they're not getting sore. They're well fed, they're well watered. While David believes in giving his horses the highest respect, he feels the same about the way he treats the environment. Whether it's out here on a horseback trip or on the job at this Devon, Canada facility in Rocky Mountain House, a plant that purifies natural gas from the ground so that it can be used to heat our homes. When we pack in, we pack everything out so no one knows we're there. Yeah. And with uh, Devon in that plant, at the end of the day when we're done, we'll return it better than we found it. Wow, that's amazing. And do you have spurs? We do. I got spurs <laughs> that jingle, jangle, jingle. Hey, that's pretty good. Blue is the designated pack horse on this trip. So they don't like the tarp because it, uh, it can spook them and stuff. Okay, so I'll just step back over here. Oh, Blue doesn't even flinch. Blue is such a pro. Yeah. The Smokies are sizzling. Time for lunch before heading out. Look at that. They're actually doing really nice. Whoa. That, oh, dog down, dog down. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, again. Is that one Nancy's? Shh, don't tell her. Daisy chain that end. And now we're ready to ride. Well, the time has come to saddle up and head her on out. Hard to believe there was a time that David didn't like being on a horse. Well, I did start riding when I was younger, and I actually hated horses. Really? <laughs> Why? I think I was afraid of them. We never got any training. It was just get on and go hard, and uh, it was a hard way to learn. After crossing Hummingbird Creek, David and Nancy follow a trail up towards Lost Guide Lake. It's important to take your time and make sure a horse doesn't come up lame. Watch, there's no sinkholes in here. Yeah, I'm trying to find, uh, just follow a trail. You're depending on them to go 50 miles and return you. And if you had to walk 50 miles, it's gonna be a long ways out. So I put them as my top priority and then everything, I come second. Imagine waking up to a view like this. With their alpine camp set up, Blue goes load free into Lost Guide Lake. This horse trail is at least a hundred years old. I'm the type of guy that likes to see what's over the next hill. I like different challenges. With Devon, there's always a new challenge every day, and especially with our new development in the Rocky Mountain House area. That's a huge challenge, really exciting to be part of it. So with the horses, going around the next bend, or, or sometimes I get up there and I go, what's over that mountain? And well, I, if I can talk Nancy into coming over that mountain with me, I know we'll do it. And over that next mountain could be a setting like this. That's Lost Guide Lake, elevation 2,700 meters or 9,000 feet. The age of those three or four meter trees, hundreds of years old. The fishing, well, it looks like the cutthroats are biting. And David? I bet he's thinking of asking Nancy if she's game for going over that next mountain.